Hi there, today we're talking about bits and what kind of bits to use for general riding with a general horse. So, here we have uh, my range of bridles here for my current horse and um, you can see that they all have a similar bit across here. So this is a five year old horse um, with um, that's being trained for dressage and um, also does um, lots of hacking out um, and some fun activities like working equitation and for me I really love these these bits with the lozenge in the middle um, these are the, the gold um, ones that have a bit of um, nice the metal has a nicer flavour for the horse as you can see this is an egg butt snaffle with a lozenge piece um, and this is the loose ring version and that can be horse and rider preference and um, there's not a lot in it um, and some horses like to stick to the same bit and some horses like a little bit of variation um, but these are lovely soft mild bits and I would highly recommend these for general riding over here we have um, a range of other bits um, most of them are either lozenge bits for bigger horses or single jointed uh, loose ring or egg butt snaffles. Um, that one there with the small rings is a, is a bradoon for a double bridle. This is a copper roller here which is a little bit more severe and a Waterford here again a slightly more severe bit perhaps if you're going cross country. Um, this is a bit with cheeks which if you have a young horse and you're just getting the horse is getting better at steering um, but not completely there yet it can help um, with helping to turn and steer the horse without the rings coming through the mouth a little bit so sometimes I use that um, with a green horse uh, um, early days until I got my steering really fully established on the saddle and then I'll go into um, a bit like this. This here is a mouthing bit um, for breaking in a horse and it has what we call keys to encourage play um, with a bit in the horse's mouth not everyone uses those these days a little bit old-fashioned but they can be useful and down here um, we have part of a double bridle um, this is the Weymouth part of the double bridle never ride in a double bridle or with a curb bit unless you're experienced with your hands